And Crump, don't even think about it. I know that's you, bitch. Yeah, the ship's fantastic. The captain is a douche. the highest rank helmsman. They steer ships, you know. Now, here's the real problem. The waters around Kyoho Key are definitely dangerous. We need an absurdly skilled helmsman for our navigator. It is a... How do you say? A pickle. Oi, Flavio! What are you talking about, sir? If you don't mind me saying, I might have a solution. Do not tease me, Papatch. You can solve the problem. It's pretty hard already. Sir, I better talk of a... No, a legendary sailor living in Rome. <laughs> I think he's called Admiral Barbary. A salty old sea dog by all accounts. But he's said to have the helmsman touch, sir. He can make any ship bow to his will. Thing is, there ain't a soul I've seen him on the seas of late. Oh, I'm the captain? Oh, fuck you. Ugh, how I hate this fucking guy. And he would be better off if you just let him be. No thanks. I'm on a mission. I know what I gotta do now. Uh, real quick beforehand. Yeah. That's an obvious one. Else, also, while I'm up here on the roofs, might as well. Shine Sprite. Blokes want. Admiral Barbary, I haven't the faintest idea what you're talking about. Now, if you please, track the axe, Super Stash. I already found out that you're Admiral Barbary. <laughs> what poppycock? Tell me, what would you want with me if I were, if I were this chap? You say your ship needs a navigator, and you want me to do the job. Hmm? So sorry, but you'll have to look elsewhere. I shall set sail upon the sea, never more. But that's just not cool. You want to see me beg or something? Is that it? You have to come along. Only you can get us safely to Keel Hall Key. Awfully sorry, dear fellows. But when I say no, what I mean is no. Now, away with you.
I shall set sail upon the sea nevermore. Away with you. Hey, Mario. Nothing we say seems to enough to convince this man. Why would a sailor have such hatred for the sea? I need answers. Maybe we should ask Goron Town about this man's story. And I know just the person to ask. Hotly? Go to sea, huh? Well, can't say that it surprises me. The whole question is, are you folks really sure you want Bobbery back on the water? Oh, is that it? No, I see. You want to mount an expedition to kill him? There is Admiral Bobbery's tail is sad. Horribly sad, actually. Probably end up crying, but I'll tell it to you if you run me to. Please do, I can take it. In that case, get ready. Bobbery's tale of woe goes something like this. Bobbery was once married. He had a wife of enduring beauty named Scarlet. The two of them were madly in love, the sort of love reserved for fairy tales. Now, Bowery was a renowned sailor, so he was away from home for long periods. Scarlet never complained, though, and always waited faithfully for Bowery's return. And Bowery? His eye never drifted. He loved the only Scarlet, truly and deeply. So they lived and found happiness where they could. And all was good. For a time. But not all good things can last. It was a particularly icy winter when it happened. Scarlet fell ill. A virus? A passing cold? No one knew. But it soon turned serious. Bobbery, at sea on a long, lonely voyage, knew nothing of his bride's suffering. By, by the time he returned, Scarlet had succumbed. She was gone. Bobbery, of course, blamed himself. My loving wife perished because of me. If I were not at sea, I could have nursed her to health. I could have saved her. He was overcome with such thoughts. They tormented him always, haunting his sleep. He has never gone out to sea since. I can't imagine what that poor man went through. No wonder he won't sail. You all know his tale now, so tell me, do you still want him to return to the sea? I don't want to, but we have no choice. Oh, understand. If you're that determined, then I'll give you this. Old letter. The letter Scarlet wrote to Bobbery just before she departed. Deathbed, Scarlet wrote Bobbery a final letter. You hold it in your hands. I don't know what's written inside, but I can tell you what she told me as she lay dying. If I should succumb to this plague, and if my love should blame himself for my death, then give this letter to him so he may hear my voice. It was her last request. When I saw Bobbery in misery, trying to forget the pain as he mourned his wife, I just couldn't bring myself to present this letter to him. I've regretted it ever since. Please. Take this letter and do the deed I was too cowardly to do. Take it to Bobbery. Thank you so much, Padley. We'll deliver the letter, don't you worry. Ready, bro? I actually got a tear! Deo! It's like, no matter how many times I hear that tale from Admiral Bobbery, I always end up shedding at least one tear. What the fuck? What? 
Oh, my Blamerton's beard! Not you again! No matter how many times you entreat me, my stance is firm. Now, away with you! Pardon? Pardon? Uh, that's what you say? F for me? What? Scarlet! This is Scarlet's handwriting. Scarlet, my love. You read this letter, then I'm no longer by your side. Because fate has stepped between us, I decided to write you this letter. Have you written this? Last I passed away while you were out, out to sea. I can only assume that you will blame yourself for my sweet family. Although my life was short, you gave me more than a lifetime's worth of joy. Though you will mourn, I beg that you remember that time, like love, is a tide. You are one with the sea, as you were one with me. Do not lose both of your life's loves. Time. Like love is a tide. You are one with the sea as you were one with me. But, a, a thousand pardons. But may I have a moment alone, if please? <laughs> if you think an old sea bomb like me is what you need, then let's shove off. Very wonderful. The ship's in the harbor, huh? I must inspect it before we leave. I shall meet you there. <laughs> you can do that? I know there's something in here. Yep. It took an hour before we can get s actually see the frickin' Chapter 5 screen. The fuck? Petuni! Yep. Say, Ahoy! I was right, I still chose you guys, Captain. Ahoy to me as well. Men have already loaded our cargo and supplies. Our persons are complete. We have no errands, we can depart at once. What do you say? Shall we set sail? Let's shove off. Very well, to the sea! Raise anchor and set sails for thrills and emotions. Alright, Norman, send money. Our destination is Dread Kill Hall K! This is X not one here. Come in, dude. I repeat, X not one here. Over. Watch it. We need five by five infiltration if successful. X not black aboard a vessel. Repeat, X not black is on board the vessel. Crump. The key to pirates. Yar. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, great. This monologue bullshit.
Yeah, yeah, whatever you say, bitch. Oh, God. Shut up. Oh, brother, this guy stinks. story, but the ship stopped. Uh, stopped, you say to me, after interrupting the story of passion and fury? Well, it is your job to keep the ship moving, yes? So take care of it. I see no issue with the ship itself, and I assure you I am not so rusty a sailor that I would miss it. I'll investigate right quick. Wait a tick. Oh, brother. Yeah, yeah, I'm working on it. Just wait a goomba stop in a moment, you scallywags. Here we go. Oi, quit shoving, eh? I'm working over here. I say, quit shoving. Uh, Did it hit? What is this Roscoe's thing? Who is here? Will someone tell me what is going on? Yourselves. This is just a dream that we all having. Awake. No. Coo -coo -coo -coo. M -m Move the b -b boat. Yeah, this boat ain't going nowhere, bitch. Oh, ghostly Ooh, thing. Are you the savage pirate king? I knew it. All that talk of bravery was nothing but scallywag drivel. Oh, well, there goes Bobbery. Marvelous merchant for himself. Frickin' monologue in the fucking diary. I hate. I will tell you right now, I hate Flavio with a passion. He irritates the living hell out of me. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep clicking the freaking button until it's over, and then in the meantime, I'm gonna get something.
But we finished a wee hut for your resting. Come have a look. <laughs> Flavio and Papacho are in a huge fight. In the jelly when you saw all those ghosts. What are you talking about? No one quaking in, in his boots, fancy pants. Did you just call the, the great Flavio fancy pants? That's right, fancy pants. Fancy pants, fancy pants. Yeah. That's right, fancy pants. Fancy pants, fancy pants, fancy pants, fancy pants. Like a little cyclops. You, me, Alice, and Dom. Oh, it looks really fine by me. I can't wait to put a few dents in those fancy birds. They're here. Captain Stench, them ghosts are back. Run, Simmer. This is an order. Take out those ghosts. Swap with Goombell. Oh, you know what? I should have freaking. I was in the under I was underground rogue port before coming to Kiel Hall Key. I should have freaking stopped by the the person who trades star pieces for badges and gave him the star. I uh, should have gotten the quick exchange badge. God damn it. Alright, what do we got? 8, 3, and 0. That's what it says. So anything fire related, no. But explosive attacks, that's a that's a pass. Oh boy, that's not good. Oh no. Eh. What about coops? Let's try power shell. Nice. Oh, what the hell? Oh. Nice. Oh, wait. Nope. Oh, this might end up being bad. Wait. Maybe. Okay, regular hammer. safe for now.
Wait a second. Oh, wait, not the badges. Uh, there. Go there. Just use that. Withdraw. In coupon. I still, uh, I think, yeah, I was about to say, I'm pretty sure I did a tattle on these guys back in the gliss pit. Uh, what's a good, uh, Yoshi. Oi, oh, this is a potential good idea for, uh, getting star points at this point of the game is even if they split they still give you the extra star points because they count as a brand new enemy <laughs> okay so what is So right now I'm at 6. If I defeat these last two, I should be at 12 star points. If you're at this if you are at this point in the game, that's an easy way to get star points. Another easy way is if you're lucky enough, then the uh, the amazing daisies back on the like chapter four, the Twilight Trials. <gasps> or trials, trails, whatever. You know what I mean. Damn it. I need a multi bonk. <laughs> Courage shell, fuck you. Bonk. 
Gonna get rid of this one real quick. over to Yoshi right here. Ouch. You didn't even lose HP to begin with, idiot. I want to... Wait, I'm already at six. Okay, so I'm just going to... Like I said, if you're if you're just getting to this point in the game right now, this is an easy way. The green fuzzies is an easy way for you to get easy star points constantly. Other than that, if you're lucky enough. Uh, the Amazing Daisies from the Chapter 4 area. Uh, oh yeah, Goombella. This kind of helps me out a bit right now, because... Oh well, never mind. I, I just leveled up, so it doesn't matter. I was gonna say I'm gonna be in Danger Zone, so I was gonna change my partner to frickin' Coops. Or Vivian. Of course, I had to level up and ruins that. Oh my frickin' health back, damn it.
<laughs> They're both frozen. Damn. Rough. I don't know. Well, if they weren't frozen, I would have frickin' let them survive, but... Eh, not much I can do right now. Oh! It does, yeah, it splits when, uh, it still splits with one. I wanna try something real, I wanna try something real quick. jump against this one back here and then just this is pure ex purely experimental right here purely experimental no it's only gonna let me do the three apparently all right Switch to Yoshi for this one. My hand was off the frickin' controller, damn it. Okay, so the Putrid Piranha still gives me three right now. Get rid of the Courage Shell. Fuck the Courage Shell. Oh. 
I am. Alright. You came just in the nick of time. Get these two out of here at this instant. <laughs> but what about you, Admiral? You gotta get out of here too. Just leave it to me, eh? I'll keep these girls busy while you get out of here. Please, that's an order. I'm gonna do what I must do. Now, out away with you. Well, Barbara here thinks it's the right thing to do, so what are we doing? Fourth wall break. Hey, anybody got any flex tape? Balloons of the morning, or else. Uh, does that make sense to you? <laughs> Professor Franklin and Crump, goddammit, share the same goddamn brain cell. I hate it. As much as I, I love fourth wall breaks whenever it's funny, but not that, okay? Heal, fuck it. I actually use the other one as well. Coconut, coconut, da da da, coconut. See Mrs. Inde. Not on my watch. Hey, Flurry. Blow out their fire. <laughs> it actually worked. <laughs> it actually worked. <laughs> I did that for the hell of it. I didn't think it would actually work. Okay. Out. The pain of it all. Oh, Mario, boy. I guess those books got me a bit better than I thought. Mario. Please hear my last request. I must thank you for taking me out to see one last time. But there's one thing I need before I go to my rest. Chocola Cola. I was saving that one bottle. My last memory of Scarlet to celebrate Trinity here. I saw it among the flotsam drifting toward the island, so it must be somewhere. It must be. I must just have one sip before my final voyage. <coughs> Give me that Chocola Cola, old boy. Oh. 
Hey, uh, YouTube mods, just keep in YouTube mods, just keep in mind I am being in character for the script. Okay, that's not me actually dying on camera. Damn. Okay. The timing against the piranha plants for that is so tricky. Ah, I missed. <laughs> I guess that works. I was just gonna do that. Yeah. Fuck the Mr. Mini, uh, the mini Mr. Mini. Fuck the. I'm just gonna sell it anyway. Fuck it. That way, if they sp if both of them spawn another fuzzy, then both of those fuzzies will be at one HP. Okay, never mind. Hey, fuck you, guy. Sleepy sheep. Damn. 
I can just end it right fucking now. Let's go. 